if you if you look at look at things over a broad span of time, the things that that are less important kind of fall away. Um, and if you look at things from the broadest possible span of time as it relates to life itself, and the the evolution of life has been um, primitive life. I think started around 3.5 to 3.8 billion years ago. Um, and what what are the important steps in the evolution of life? And obviously there was the advent of single-celled life. There was uh, differentiation to plants and animals. There was uh, life going from the oceans to land. Uh, there was uh, mammals, uh, consciousness. Um, and I would argue also on that scale um, should fit life becoming multiplanetary. Um, and in fact, I think it, it, consciousness, it, it is, it's the next step, actually, because you, you, you really kind of need consciousness to design uh, vehicles that can transport uh, life over hundreds of millions of miles uh, of irradiated space to an environment that they did not evolve to exist in. Um, you know, it would be very convenient, of course, if there was another planet just like Earth uh, nearby. Um, but but that's, that's uh, unlikely and, and, as it turns out, not the case. I think if, if one could make um, a reasonable argument that, that something is important enough to fit on the scale of evolution, uh, then it's, it's, it's important um, and, and maybe worth a little bit of our, our resources. If it's something like a quarter of a percent of the GDP, um, that, would be, that would be okay. I think most people would say, okay, that's, that's not too bad. You know, it's, um, but you know, you, you, you don't want it. To, you want you want it to be some sort of number that is uh, much less than we spend on health care, but maybe more than we spend on lipstick. You know, something like that. I'm a, and I like lipstick. It's not like I've got anything against it.